and one way after that. Any stream? So, go. I'm waiting for it to. Okay. One way after that. Any stream? So, go. I'm waiting for it to. Okay. One way after that. Any stream? So, go. I'm waiting for it to. Okay. Go ahead after that. Any stream? So, go. I'm waiting for it to. Okay. Go ahead after that. Any stream? So, go. I'm waiting for it to. Okay. Go ahead after that. Any stream? So, go. I'm waiting for it to. Okay. Go ahead. Do you need to share it with your professor so he can watch it live, or? So he could just watch it in general, like, record it, or, it, it don't matter. Okay. He doesn't need to watch it live, so hit start recording. Yeah. Okay. And what do I do after that? So once you hit start recording, you're going to go up here, hit present, go through all of it, and then you'll escape out of the presentation once you're finished presenting. And then pull this up and hit stop recording. Okay. Do you get what I mean? So you'll hit start, so start. present, and then stop. Hello, everyone. This is my presentation on the Roman Empire. This is on the classical era from 753 BCE to 750 uh, Common Era. Um, so we're going to start with our next slide. So these are my objectives. Uh, this is to, so my goals are to help students have a better understanding on the Roman Empire and Hadrian's Wall and how this frontier played a big part in the Roman Empire. Um, you know, I would like students to be able to identify what Hadrian's Wall actually was and how it was built and where it was built and when it was built and the purpose for this wall. Students will want to learn more about Hadrian's Wall and the history behind it. Students will be able to identify what happened in the Gallic War and who Julius Caesar was. And so this is my outline of what I'm planning on doing. Um, this is like my introduction. So I'll start my introduction slide, overview of my presentation. I'll, I'll talk about that and then describe what Hadrian's Wall was, tell how the wall was built, describe what helped, how the wall helped defend Rome, and tell about my journal article and my other resources that I have, like my ebook and my Luality source. Okay. So, this is my UNESCO source. Um, this is a Hadrian's Wall um, in Austria, that's what it was called. So, the Roman line represents the border between the Roman Empire and its greatest extent in the second century common era. Um, this wall was built in 122 CE in the northmost limits in northern province of Britain. Um, Hadrian's wall was 118 kilometers long. Um, this general def this was the general defense system of the Roman Empire. Oh, I messed up right there on that. Um, and this is also an example of military architecture and building technique. And uh, that's the thing that interested me most about this source was how this wall was built, you know, and this showed that they had had the best technology for this time period and um, you know, they wanted to make their empire strong by building this wall and by keeping others out that they didn't want in there, like, you know, all the, all their enemies. Um, so my next source, so this is uh, narrating the post-colonial landscapes. Um, so pretty much the talks about how the wall separated Romans and barbarians. You know, as I said before, uh, anybody who wasn't a Roman citizen, they did not want near this wall um, into their into Rome. Um, the empire stretched fifteen hundred miles south to the Sahara Desert, and that's that was another that was another thing that stood out to me. You know, it just showed 
how how much they expanded their empire and uh, you know just shows how powerful the Roman Empire was at its time and um, you know they just kept expanding and expanding and um, conquering different places and different countries um, and then the next the next bullet point says a politically built artificial frontier so this was a politically built artificial frontier to assert sovereignty, rule, and governance. Um, this wall was built to prevent those who were not citizens of Rome. Um, so as I said before, they, you know, they, the, this shows that, you know, anybody who is not a Roman citizen, basically, they didn't want in there, you know, because they knew it would cause trouble, and, you know, especially their enemies, they did not want in there. Um, and Hadrian's Wall was extended well beyond Britain. Um, the northern frontier marked the Roman Empire through Europe, Asia, Arabia, and Africa. So, uh, you know, this, like I said, this really does show how far they expanded and, you know, how they did it. And, you know, to me, this shows how powerful the Roman Empire was during its reign. And, um, you know, they just, it was just, um, great source that I learned about how, how this wall helped them build and expand. And the community of borders connected with each society throughout the empire. Um, so yeah, and then on to my next source. So Julius Caesar and the, Ga the Gallic War. Um, I know this really doesn't necessarily relate to Hadrian's Wall, but since this was, um, my luality source during this time period from the Roman Empire. Um, I wanted to discuss this since um, this was the one that related most to the Roman Empire. So uh, between 58 and 50 BCE, Caesar and his army pushed past Rome's north northwest frontier. Um, his army conquered much of France and uh, you know after reading this source uh, you know, I really enjoyed, this is something I really enjoyed reading, and Julius Caesar, he was a very well-respected man by his people, um, you know, he would encourage his men to, uh, go into battle, and sometimes he would even join the battles with his men, and, uh, he, uh, he won loyalty both at home and abroad, um, and he was the type of man who would use his loyalty as leverage to, um, and the civil war that was happening in Rome, and you know, this led to the public being destroyed. And uh, three thousand soldiers from Vercingetorix's army—I think that's how you pronounce it—were killed during one of one of the big battles. Um, a lot of casualties for that time. And you know, like I said, he was a very well-respected man. He was powerful pretty much all the way up until his death, until he was de stabbed to death by the Roman Senate. Um, you know, this is one of my favorite stories to read about in the Luwaldi book, and yeah, I just really enjoyed learning about Julius Caesar. Um, so yeah. And then, uh, my last source, it's called Hadrian's Wall at the End end of um, at the end of the um, of the empire my bad um, so um, Hadrian's wall it didn't necessarily mark the course of the frontier this despite it being a linear feature um, you know this occupied the middle island of Britain and the northern frontier was described as upland low-lying areas of east and west coastal plains um, the wall and the forts were a concentration of Roman military installations, and the extramural settlement was expanded and abandoned in the 3rd century, and occupation of the frontier continued until the end of the Roman Empire, and this wall is still a great historical site today to look at, and, uh, you know, this is something that, um, I hope you all will want to visit one day. And that was part of my goal of this presentation was to help help people gain more knowledge about 
the Roman Empire and what this wall was and how historical it is and how it means a lot to a lot of people around the world who are interested in this type of stuff. Um, so yeah, and then these are all my sources where I've got all my citations right here. And yeah, I really enjoyed really enjoyed teaching about this and I hope you all enjoyed my video presentation. And yeah.